Yeah, I think obviously um, England is a bit football crazy. I think you can't really get away from it wherever you go. Um, so obviously there's always um, the first sport that you play when you're a kid and when you're going away is always football um, at school and things like that. So um, it's just part of the culture. But I think, yeah, it's just, I think I picked up badminton from my family. So I think that was a different, a different way in. But obviously I still, still played football as a, as a junior. In, in you're pretty good at that, weren't you? Yeah, I played, for, I played for a Premier League club academy up until I was like 13 or 14 and then I had to make a choice, um, which I know what you're thinking, why did I choose badminton? But um, I think that there was lots of very good football players. I mean, I was, I was, I was really good at that age, but um, I knew that I was the best at badminton and I think that I liked being the best at something. And so the week that they actually told me to choose between the football and the badminton, I actually just won like a, the European Junior event at 15. So, I know I was the best at that, so that's actually why I pick it, even though my dad was probably pulling her. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously it's tough, but being from up north, like we don't have that many good football teams. Apart from, well, we have Man United, but where I'm from, we don't really have that many good football teams. I, I support Leeds. Um, so actually where I'm from, it's more about rugby. Um, but I got into badminton through uh, school detention. Um, and I just picked it up from there. My, I think my mum preferred me being inside as opposed to standing outside where it's all cold and stuff. So I just carried on from there. Um, I just think it's quite um, it's quite tactical. It's quite interesting. You know, some people who don't know it may be looking and think that's just quick. But it's you know it's quick. It's tactical. And actually, to for us to compete against the Asian pairs, we have to be very tactically astute. Um, so I, I quite enjoy that side of the game personally. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think obviously the other the other side of the coin, England, it's because it's so football crazy. A lot of people actually get fed up with it. So I think that um, obviously bringing in a sport that's, that's different, um, people really enjoy it. And I think obviously it's not loads of media coverage and on TV that much in England. But then when it is, uh, like at the Olympics and things and different events, um, I think they show our national championships. People actually say, oh, hold on, that's actually a really good sport. And I think I always say to people, it's best if you can watch it live and then you get a true feel for it. And I think everyone who has followed that and gone to watch it live has come up to me and, and said, wow, yeah, that, that really looks really good. And hopefully we'll get them down to all England or, or other local tournaments. See, I mean, as a kid, not only did I play badminton football, I played a, a range of different sports. And I think that's something that benefited me in the long run, having as many different uh, friends in different sports and lots of different experiences. And, I think lots of being part of lots of different sports actually comes together and helps you in the long run. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just, just enjoy it. I think that um, as parents, um, I'd like to think that I wouldn't be a parent who kind of Make put choose. like forces my kid to do one sport or other. Um, I know that's not how my parents were with me. They were, as long as I was enjoying it and happy, um, they, they'd let me do any sport and they were very supportive of it. So um, yeah, just as many sports as you can and enjoy it. And, said everyone knows where their local sports hall is and where you can pick up a badminton racket so yeah I think that's what I'd say. Yeah. I mean I'm, I'm the exact same as Chris we actually spoke to some young kids the other day at a demo day and uh, we just said the same as long as your kids are enjoying it we don't you know we love badminton but at the same time I've met some of my best friends in badminton and it's just like I've known Chris since he was like 12 and you know we <laughs> so I went to you know I went to Chris's wedding and stuff. You meet some of your best friends of your life, and I wouldn't ever say choose a sport straight away. Just play it and see what happens. I mean, it's good now in England that we're we're pushing an in initiative to make sure that school, uh, schools are playing more badminton. Uh, we've got like a website where you can play. I think it's called Battle Badminton. Um, so you can challenge anybody, and you meet up at a sports centre, and then you play your match, and then you can tweet about it and stuff. So. There's good initiatives now for meeting new people.